I wanted to briefly go over the uh, pants I wore for Europe. I invested quite a lot in these choices. There were three pairs I bought specifically for the trip, and uh, they all turned out quite well. Some you know, excelled in areas, others did not s excel so much. So anyway, this is what I got. Um, three pairs. This is the first one. Um, actually, I bought this one first. This is by Bluff Works and a pretty good pair. They're all great pairs, actually. This is uh, from REI, or you can get it at other places, and this is also from REI. $93, $60, and about $70 to $80, I believe. I got it on sale because I have some discounts from REI, which are great. So um, what I like about this one is, uh, I think, a side pocket with a zipper. And this is good to protect your passport and your valuables, your wallet. That's kind of most the most important thing, I think, for pants is just to make sure nothing gets stolen when in Europe or wherever you go. Um, the material on this, I think this one is mostly nylon with a little bit of polyester or some other thing to go in. It's a, about a medium weight. It's pretty good. Uh, very, com very comfortable. They're all very comfortable, um, although I like it. And let's see, I think I got uh, medium. Medium is a weird weight. I mean, what does that mean? It means all three needed a belt, uh, which is fine. It's a good sign that I'm not gaining weight, I guess. This is the uh, pair, and I think this is, uh, what was this, polyester? Mostly polyester, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and that worked out okay. I was surprised. I thought this one would be nylon, but I think it's mostly polyester and some other material. And this one, is, I think, is all polyester. And that used to be a bad thing. I mean, I think it was in the 70s or 80s polyester now. We think, yeah, it's terrible. But the reason I got this one, this is the black pair. Um, this is for kind of like if you want to go out someplace nice and there's a dress code. Um, but the idea is like when it folds up, uh, you can really get it in a backpack and get it pretty small and not take up a lot of space and when you do open it up voila no wrinkles and that's kind of good in case you're not near an ironed um, this pair this is the, the nice one as far as size this thing gets i mean you get almost the size you can ball it up in your fist and that's what i really liked about this one is uh, i really wanted to and this one not quite the material is a little thicker on this one i guess the nylon one um so it doesn't quite get as small but it, you know, it does not take up a lot of space and that's important um i noticed it actually did rain one day that this one did an extremely good job the water just kind of beads off of it and if it does get wet it dries pretty quickly you notice that because you put it in the dryer when i got home after washing it and this was dried extremely quickly so all three have that advantage too and that's one of the main things it's light it dries quick uh, I believe polyester can smell if it's not washed, so you do have to keep your polyester washed, but um, it does a pretty good job. And I think that, that one of those things about that they treat it with something to keep it from um, getting odorous, or odor, yeah, smelly. Um, so that's the three pairs. I did actually consider jeans. Jeans are extremely comfortable, and we all love a good pair of jeans. When the weather's right, uh, if the weather's too hot, jeans can be a huge pain. Um, I guess it's never too cold for jeans, but yeah, they can be. And the, the weight, they also don't get very small. So I was hoping to not have to wear jeans. I mean, you can wear them a lot and they probably won't smell unless you're really sweaty, um, which could happen again if it gets too warm and you're doing an awful lot of walking jeans can be a problem. They're also heavy and uh, if the weather's cold, yeah, it'll keep you warm. But if it gets wet, you are stuck with wet clothes. I mean, it's, it's cotton, so uh, you're not gonna be happy if jeans get wet. So I did not bring a pair of jeans on that trip. The uh, As far as the specs, uh, the base works were again $92 and they weigh about 13.5 ounces. That's not very bad. That's, that's pretty light. Um, this pair weigh, it costs about $80 and 14 ounces. So almost a pound, but it gets pretty small. Um, and this is one of my, this turned out to be my favorite. And this was how much? 14 ounces, I believe. No, 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 no. Uh, yes, I think 14 ounces. I thought it was 11 ounces or something. Maybe it was 10. I think I made a mistake on that. Uh, maybe 10 ounces. I mean, yeah. So it's very, very light. And again, very small. This is my favorite pair. But again, that lightness means it's not going to keep your legs very warm. Um, your lower half warm. But I'm if my upper half is warm, my head's warm and neck and all that good stuff, my ears, I don't really care. I could be wearing shorts for all that matters. But it wasn't. And some people were out there wearing some clothes where you just think, how are you not dead? It's so cold and you're not wearing anything. But people dress up to go out and... They make weird choices for that, but whatever suits them best. Um, again, this one has the paw zipper uh, in the back and a zipper kind of inside the inner pocket. 
Again, you, you don't want your stuff stolen. If you're going to do a lot of uh, tra traveling around where a lot of other people are, you got to be careful on that. This has a zipper down the side, and I believe the back has a button, and this has a zipper like down the leg. So that's good. If you are a place where you're going to be around a lot of people, then you're going to want to actually protect yourself even more so, and that's when I do carry a money belt. Um, I did not this time because I figured the jeans were going to take care of it, and they did. But um, a money belt can be a lifesaver. I mean, that just goes inside every, all your clothes underneath. And if someone pickpockets that, then you got other things to worry about. Uh, but these are pretty safe. But they're kind of, a, I don't know, they're kind of a pain. And again, once I get to the hotel, I, there's, a, there's usually a safe there. Put your money in the safe or put your passport in the safe. And at least don't worry about that because you can't really get home without it until you get it replaced. And I've had that happen before and it's not fun. So there you go. Three pairs. This doesn't count because I didn't bring it. But these things, I mean, I probably could have actually gotten by with two of them. The nice pair for going out, because you can wear this for almost anything. And this little thin pair, but I like having this. Again, it's only a little extra pound, doesn't take that much room, so you have to do laundry one less time when you're in Europe. So that's my pants review, the traveling pants. And it was worth it, I guess. Although, yeah, I could have had two of them, been fine, but maybe next time.